All right, you've heard the uh, the stories, little kids, lemonade stands being shut down because they don't have permits. So one group had enough. They took their fight to Washington. They did, and it happened this weekend. The protesters sold lemonade on the lawn of the Capitol. They did not have a permit, and they were promptly arrested. Joining us is the creator of Lemonade Freedom Day, Robert Fernandez, and one of the three protesters arrested on Saturday, Meg McLean Green. Great to have both of you here. We covered the story on Fox and Friends weekend, and I have to be honest with you, when we first started talking about it, you know, we, you call yourself the Lemonistas, we kind of j- laughed about it. But there is some seriousness in this, Robert, isn't there? Um, yes, absolutely. I think uh, what happens is when you're, when you're shutting down a kid's lemonade stand, what happens is, is that you're basically telling them that, that they can't do anything, they can't follow their dreams, they can't uh, set a goal and then achieve that goal uh, without getting permission from the government first. And I think this is absurd. I mean, I think that, that we're all individuals and you know, we, have, we have a right, an, 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 an inherent right, that uh, we should be able to... Uh, sell goods and services with other uh, voluntary individuals that, that, that want to participate without having any problem, without having to ask for permission. On the other hand, Meg, you were out there. You were arrested for mm-hmm. this. You're going to be going oh, to yeah. court uh, come October. But, you know, following dreams is one thing, but following the rules is another. I mean, yeah, following the rules is one thing, but when the rules are inappropriate, I mean... There's no reason that anybody should ever have to endure what I went through just for selling 10 cent glasses of lemonade. What did you go through? Tell tell us exactly what happened there when you were there. Um, Well, after we were arrested, we were taken down to the police station and each one of us were uh, put in a separate room and handcuffed to the wall and basically taunted by police for about five hours. Um, the children who are, are usually this happens to are just kind of given tickets. It's it's more of sort of you know, hey kids, got to just sorry we got to do this. But Robert, ultimately, what do you want to happen here? What do you, what are you hoping to achieve? Um, well, the, the the biggest thing that I would like to achieve right here is that I would like to um, get good people to disobey uh, bad laws. Um, you know, like I said, we 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 really. Uh, Police are human. We're all individuals. We all make mistakes. So do the police. So do the lawmakers. Not all, not all uh, uh, laws are good. Some laws are bad. And when we have bad laws, we need to disobey them. Maybe, and, maybe the message is just lighten up. Um, yeah, it's just lighten up. But I, I, I think we still need to stand up and, and disobey these type of laws. And I think also the jurors need to be more informed and they need to, uh, you know, make decisions based on their conscience and not on, not on you know, Meg- some, Meg, I hope this doesn't go to a jury. I really don't. Ho- hopefully the charges will be dropped for you. Um, you know, power mean, to the Lemonistas, all right? <laughs> thanks for yeah, joining I'm us today. I'm proud of it. All right, thanks for joining us. Thank we you. appreciate it. Good luck Thank to you. you.